Hello everyone, it's Wilson here. Today I want to continue to talk about how to determine whether a geometric series is convergent or divergent. The reason for why I'm picking this example is that it has a negative common ratio. So how do you tell that it has a common ratio? Um, if you look at the two to the end here, the base two is positive, right? The two is positive, but for the base right here, the, the negative three is negative. So now when you put this series in the standard form, in the standard uh, geometric series form, then you can actually tell that the common ratio will be a negative number. Okay, so let's get started. First, we are going to claim that this is the a sub n, right? So we are going to just write it as a sub n, and that would be equal to two to this n, right? So we are just claiming that that expression is the same expression that we have in the series. So we have n plus 2. Now, what we are going to do is that we are going to use rules of exponents to start manipulating this expression. Okay, so what you want to do right now is to break up the three, uh, the negative 3 to the n plus 2 so that it will become negative 3 to the n, okay, and then times negative 3 to the second power. So I think we need to make the line longer here. Okay, so let's continue. Okay, so uh, next step is to simplify this, right? So let's simplify this. Then we are going to get 2 to the n. And then we have <clears throat> negative 3 to the n. And then now, what is this? Negative 3 squared, we get 9, right? So we just get the 9 here. And so now you can see that the um, both the 2 to the n and the negative 3 to the n, they have the same exponent, right? So we can now actually just put their bases together. So we actually turn the expression into, uh, and then you may say, what about the, one, uh, the 9 at the bottom? You can put it as 1 over 9. And put it as 1 over 9. And then now times what? Times this times this. And then how do you put it together? You can put it as a fraction, which will now have a, uh, it's actually an uh, exponential expression, right? So you have two over negative three, and then the whole quantity raised to the n power. So we are going to be getting negative two over three, and then the whole thing raised to the n power. Then now see that that's uh, somewhat in the standard form, but that's not actually in the standard form because when n is starting from one, the standard form is going to have uh, the first turn here times the common ratio raised to the n minus one power. This is not n minus one power, so it's not really in the standard form, but it's good enough for what we need to do here because we can already tell what the common ratio is, right? This would be the common ratio. So this would be the common ratio here. Okay, so we have common ratio. Okay, so now actually, what are we doing? We are going to just use the common ratio and determine whether the geometric series is convergent or divergent. Okay, so, um, <clears throat> so R is equal to, okay, is equal to what? <clears throat> is equal to uh, negative three over two. So we have this number right here. So R is equal to negative three over two. But we actually don't want to use R to determine whether the series is convergent. We actually want to use the absolute value R to determine that, right? Okay, so now for the absolute value of R, okay, which is <clears throat> absolute value of negative three over two, so now when you take the absolute value of this negative three over two, then you know that it's, you are gonna get three over two. And in that case, that's less than one. Okay, so what does that mean? That means that tells you that the series is what? It's convergent. Yeah, so, so the series is convergent. <clears throat> Okay, now you may say, what's next? Um, <clears throat> so because it's convergent, the next step is to find its sum. And we do have a formula that will allow us to find the sum really easily, right? So um, before we find the sum, we actually need the first turn for the, for this. So uh, how, do we, how do we get the first turn? 
um, we cannot really just use the one over nine as the first term because that's not in the standard form as I mentioned before. So the easy way to find the first term is to just directly plug the starting value for the n into the a sub n right here. And that will give us a sub one, which is the first term, okay? So either you just plug the one into this n right here in the original expression, or you can plug that into the expression that we already have simplified. Okay, so we are going to try to get the first term right here. So the first term, first term is going to be a sub one, which is going to be, what is that? That's going to be one over nine, right? And what we are doing is that we are going to plug the one in here. So we have negative two over three, and then raised to the first power. Okay, now, because it's raised to the first power, we can just directly do the calculation right here. So the first turn is actually negative two over uh, 27, right? So you just multiply them together, then you are getting this. Okay, so now we have the first turn and we are ready to find the sum. So S1, no, actually, no, not just, not S1, but it's just S. So that's the actual sum for the series. It's going to be what, A sub one. All over one minus the uh, common ratio R, right? So you get R right here. <clears throat> and so what do we get here? We are going to have that number, which is this negative 2 over 27. That's our first turn, right, for the series. So we have negative 20, negative uh, 2 over 27. And then <clears throat> 1 minus negative 2 over 3. Now, because there are double minus signs right here, so to use the proper notation, we should put a pair of parentheses around the negative 2 over 3. So now all we need to do is to simplify this, right? Calculate this, and then you can get the sum. So what do we have here? We have negative 2 over 27 at the top, then at the bottom. The bottom, it's actually just what? This is 1 minus negative 2 over 3. So it's 1 plus 2 over 3. So you get 5 over 3 here. And then, of course, we don't want to do division. So we are going to turn this into multiplication, which is really just uh, multiplying by the reciprocal of the denominator, right? So we are going to be getting, so the reciprocal is 3 over 5. See that that's the reciprocal here. And so now what do we get here? We are going to just, um, we can simplify it, right? There is something that we can simplify here. The 3 becomes a 1. The, the 27 becomes a 9, right? When you divide top and the bottom by 3. So our final answer would just be negative because there is a negative sign here. And then we are going to get what? We are going to get the 2 at the top, and then we get nine times five at the bottom. So you are going to be getting two over nine times five is 45. So that's our sum. Okay, so that's it by, um, <clears throat> by using the geometric series test. I should actually just mention that as well. This is by the, um, the GST, right, or the geometric series series test yes. okay so that's it for this problem to help me make math learning available to everyone please share my videos to others and subscribe to my channel it will give me support to make more videos let's work together to help students and children learn math more easily thank you for watching